Welcome to NPR Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition Stop Story. The island's chief medical officer emphasizes the need for adherence to the COVID-19 protocols. Government's land rationalization extends to Bhutan. And Canada deepens relations with the OECS. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is cautioning that St. Lucia is still in a critical position as it relates to the coronavirus. The country remains vulnerable to the introduction of COVID-19 and variants of concern from the developed countries and neighboring Martinique and transmission in country due to inconsistent compliance to protocols. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George noted an increase in the social activities across the island, especially on weekends, and a general relaxation of the public health measures. We continue to advise the public to remain vigilant, adhere to the protocols that are put in place to keep us safe. These include regular hand washing, the use of the face mask in public places covering the mouth, nose and chin, avoiding crowds and people with respiratory symptoms, and keeping frequently touched surfaces clean. We are privileged to have access to vaccines in the COVID-19 fight. Vaccination remains the most effective public health measure in managing infectious diseases. The AstraZeneca vaccine has been proven to be safe and effective in protecting people from developing COVID-19 in severe forms complications, hospitalizations, and death. We continue to urge the public to access the various sites to get immunized at the soonest. The vaccine is available free of charge to the public at many venues on a daily basis. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to manage COVID-19 cases in country, collaborating with various ministries to ensure the safety of the public as the country strives to return to a state of normalcy. As of the 31st of May 2021, the island has recorded a total of 5,072 COVID-19 cases. 185 of those cases were recorded over the last 14 days, with a majority of cases in the southern region of the island and in the north in Barbado and Grizzly. We continue to manage numerous outbreaks emanating from local bars. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to support and collaborate with the Ministry of Education in the safe reopening of schools and is pleased with the progress for the last month. The school administration and teachers are encouraged to continue working with the students to ensure a safe educational environment is maintained at all times. The continued diagnosis of cases noted is of concern to the Ministry of Health and Wellness as we continue strengthening the necessary public health systems to manage at this point. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is encouraging the public to get immunized so that everyone can be protected. The vaccination campaign continues on Wednesday, June 2 at the Vigi Sports Complex and Denry Mothers Preschool and on Friday, June 4 at the Darren Sami Cricket Grounds, Jack Mill Wellness Centre and Vigi Sports Complex. Member of Parliament for Soufre Forte Jacques Honorable Herod Stanislas has been working steadfastly to ensure that the lands in Bhutto Soufre, owned by the Catholic Church, are made available for ownership by the residents of the community. Honorable Stanislas has been in constant discussion with the Catholic Church for rationalizing the Bhutto lands. Honorable Stanislas strongly believes that land and property are among the most valuable assets for self-empowerment and advancement. The lands will be surveyed and apportioned for residential and related uses. Additionally, Bhutto is being considered for the expansion of the Sufre Cemetery, which currently has limited space. This land rationalization initiative in Bhutto will bring about ownership to the residents and the Sufre community at large, thereby giving them an opportunity to own the very lands that they have occupied for generations. The Sufre MP says facilitating land ownership for residents is vital for housing, business, industry and other uses in the development process of the constituency. Today, the 1st of June, St. Lucia joined the region in observing Caribbean Nutrition Day. Health officials are this year shining the spotlight on the importance of food labels and the rights of consumers to know what is inside food packages. Hermody Mark reports. 
Caribbean Nutrition Day is observed every year on the 1st of June, followed by a week of activities. The theme for this year is healthy eating, active living. Be a good label detective, read it before you eat it. This theme brings into focus the pertinent role that labeling of prepackaged foods play in assisting persons in making healthier decisions. The Caribbean, including St. Lucia, is making strides towards introducing front-of-package nutrition labeling on packaged foods. Lisa Hunt is the chief nutritionist in the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Typically, nutrition information is placed on the back of food labels where consumers do not usually pay attention. The front of package labels will present nutrition information on the front of pre-packaged foods in a clear, simple and easy to read format. This will highlight critical nutrients including saturated fats, trans fats, sugar and sodium. These critical nutrients are the drivers to diet-related non-communicable diseases which are the leading cause of death, disease and disability in the Caribbean, including St. Lucia. From 2018, the Bureau of Standards across the Caribbean region have been working on improving nutritional labels on food products purchased in various shops, stalls and supermarkets. Senior Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, Dr. Shana Sur Philbert, says the intention is to support consumers, irrespective of their ages, in making healthier food choices. We at the Ministry of Health endorse and support this initiative as it is key to achieving an enabling environment for both people living with and without NCDs. It will support children and adults in making informed decisions about what they consume. The process of voting for octagonal front of package warning labels on pre-packaged foods is currently underway in the Caribbean region. The Ministry of Health as well as many national health allies and stakeholders have voted. Octagon shaped front of package nutritional warning indicates if a product is high in critical nutrients. It allows consumers to quickly and easily identify products with unhealthy nutritional contents. They are recommended by the World Health Organization because they are effective and efficient in communicating to consumers at the point of purchase and encourages healthy diets. A number of countries have implemented octagon-shaped front-of-package nutritional warnings to address the growing global burden of diet-related non-communicable diseases. From the Government Information Service, I'm Pumadi Mark, reporting. St. Lucia's Ministry of Health has won a 2021 World No Tobacco Day Award in the Americas from the World Health Organization, WHO. The Ministry of Health is one of six winners of the award in the Americas, receiving recognition for achieving key advances in tobacco control efforts. Congratulatory messages were issued by the Pan American Health Organization, World Health Organization representative for Barbados, and the Eastern Caribbean countries during a virtual award ceremony held May 31, World No Tobacco Day. We congratulate the government and the people of St. Lucia as recipient of 2021 World No Tobacco Day Award from the World Health Organization for the meritorious achievement. The Ministry of Health was instrumental in adoption of the public health smoking control regulation, which established a smoke ban in enclosed public places, workplaces, and public transportation. This was preceded by the amendment of the Public Health Amendment Act, which was passed by the St. Lucia Parliament in June 2019. With the adoption of its quick tobacco regulation, St. Lucia became the eighth country in the Caribbean and the 22nd in the Americas to adopt regulation in keeping with Article 8 of the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, which asserts that people should be protected against tobacco smoke in indoor public spaces, in our workplaces and workplace transportation. Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator Honorable Mary Isaac, shared her convictions about the island's tobacco control legislation. When we passed this legislation, we got quite a bit of pushback from producers of charcoal. But then when I visit our hospitals and I see our COPD patients gasping for air, trying to the word comes so easy to many of us. I know that the Ministry of Health had taken the right decision. 
The observance of World No Tobacco Day 2021 marks a significant milestone for St. Lucia. We are the proud recipient of the WHO World No Tobacco Day Award to recognize outstanding contributions to tobacco control. I take this opportunity to express sincere gratitude to PAHO and WHO for this most prestigious award. Thank you, WHO. Congratulations, Team Health, without whose hard work this would not have been done. Well done, Team Health. Honorable Isaac assured that the government of St. Lucia remains committed to the outreach programs and other activities associated with tobacco control in St. Lucia. Her Excellency Lillian Chatterjee, Ambassador of Canada to the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS, presented her letters of credence to Dr. Didicus Jules, Director General of the OECS, at a virtual ceremony on Friday, May 21, 2021. The High Commissioner drew focus to the benefits of diplomatic relations between Canada and the OECS. The historical and people-to-people -people ties between Canada and OECS members run deep. And, and our shared cultural legacy of French and English colonialism profoundly shaped Canada and the Eastern Caribbean's development, a past that is thriving even today. Trade in sugar and salt fish have given way in, to other, other sectors. Canada is home. Canada has committed continued support to fighting the COVID-19 pandemic and contributing to relief efforts of natural disasters in the region. Her Excellency Chatterjee commended the OECS for rallying to assist St. Vincent and the Grenadines after the eruption of the La Sufria volcano. We too are responding and it will take all of us working together to address the immediate basic needs of those affected by the volcano and to recover. The crisis has exposed the fragility of global value chains and inequity of market access, including access to essential goods like PPE and vaccines. We must tackle these challenges as friends, partners and neighbors. We know the OECS is committed to our partnership. We are also actively looking for opportunities to engage more directly with the OECS as an institution. Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didicus Jules, noted the importance of the Canada-Caribbean Seasonal Agricultural Workers Program to the livelihoods of OECS nationals. And let me say parenthetically that since COVID and as, and as well the volcanic eruption in St. Kitts, in St. Vincent, sorry, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, this program has really proved the solidity of its benefits because we have had a couple hundred workers leave the OECS by special charter to en engage in employment in Canada. A significant portion, I think over 80% of whom came from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So indirectly, Canada has made a huge contribution um, in a humanitarian way, but in a way that also preserves human dignity by enabling persons from St. Vincent to go earn comparatively better wages than they would have earned even within the Caribbean at a time of such critical importance. Canada has also contributed to the development of the OECS region through several other initiatives, including the provision of scholarship programs and providing technical support for the advancement of statistical systems in the region. Canada recently made a contribution to the Pan American Health Organization in the sum of Canadian $50 million to help fight the COVID-19 pandemic. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. Here at St. Lucia Distillers, we produce an award-winning range of rums and rum products. We export our rums to the Caribbean, North America, and Europe. Standards facilitate our entry into overseas markets. In the rum business, it is critical that our distillers and blenders get it right. St. Lucia Distillers is HACCP certified. We use two standards from SLBS, the standard for labeling of pre-packaged foods. 
SLNS 1-3-2014 and the National Specification for RAM SLNS 12-2003. We are also a registered member of the West Indies RAM and Spirit Producers Association, WISPA. SLBS ensures that we are up to standard and world class. This message is brought to you by the Commonwealth Standards Network. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Creole. Monsieur Ta, Janelle. Monsieur, Madame, Department qui est responsable pour information à gouvernement cette ci la CGIS, à ce pays télévision nationale pays NTN, Capacito Nouvelle à Creole. Visitor Primus Hutchinson. Yo appel ja sorti pour cette lycée commencer faire dernière préparation pour saison cyclone l'année ça là. Saison cyclone pour l'année 2021 commencer mardi le 1er mai 2021. Oui Jean Corbla tire formation premier mauvais temps et ça c'était Anna, ça c'était noi, ça c'était le 22 en mois de mai. Mais ça partait pour des pièces menaces pour la vie mon et propriétaire. Directeur des affaires service meteorologie à cette ci André Joye déclare que ces eaux cyclones l'année ça là qui plus haut que normal ça veut dire et qui était mieux plus farouche. Et dit aussi ça c'est 6e l'année que ces eaux cyclones là qui c'est tellement actif. Joye fait comprendre que une ancien institution des affaires mauvais temps à la terre annoncé 17 17 non pour mauvais temps et yo kay yo ka kwè ki 8 kay développé pour cyclone pas de 4 kay développé pour cyclone qui tué brutal organisation ça là aussi déclaré que l'année possibilité a que 70% pour activité mauvais ça c'est mauvais temps ka venir plus actif yon l'autre organisation en ce qui yo gardé côté la peine 13 pour 18 mauvais temps ça c'est 6 pour 10 périvé à guard cyclone par de 3 pour 5 périvé à guard cyclone qui brutal. Il y a l'autre institution en Angleterre qui a cru que la peine 18 mauvais temps, 9 périvé à degré cyclone, par de 4 périvé à degré cyclone qui est très brutal. M. Joye a fait un appel pour le public à mettre un plan de ménagement des as en place pour CAI et aussi pour le secteur business pays. Malgré ce qui a expérimenté plus d'activités mauvais temps, en mois de septembre pour novembre, Joye fait comprendre que le pays a sa trouvé fort la pluie n'importe là. Directeur des services météorologiques cette ici a qu'à encourager le public là pour toujours coûter pour rapport à ce temps votre agence régionale et à cette ici même. Et des numéros aussi qu'à y avoir information et direction qui est très important pour le public là ça suive. C'est ce cyclone là qui a bout le 30 au mois de novembre. 2021. Ministère de Santé en cette ci gagnon grand honneur pour observance journée pour pas servir tabac à toute la terre. C'est organisation santé mondiale WHO qui est responsable pour grand observance ça là et cette ci c'est on a ces six pays au loin la terre qui recevre grand honneur ça là pour des gros succès yo j'a fait pour contrôler service tabac en pays. Paho félicite gouvernement celle-ci pour grand accomplissement ça là et qui dit celle-ci j'a fait une assez plus haut contribution et ce pays celle-ci qui a conduit à implémentation contrôle à ce service tabac ministère de santé a adopté règlement à l'année 2020 qui établit web pour mettre en bout pièce activité côté service tabac à opération et bien fermis pour fumer cigarettes à place publique, à place travail, et aussi à votre transportation publique. Ces règlements là aussi qu'à gouverner pour la panique pièce service tabac en facilité sport, santé, gouvernement, des enfants, éducation et collision. Gouvernement cette ci j'ai aussi établi un programme étonnement pour aider peuple là pour de bout de fumer. Avant mais c'est l'autre pays qui gagne grand on est ça là, c'est Costa Rica. A ba trois agences gouvernement, ça c'est santé publique en pays Paraguay, aussi en Uruguay, en Stade California, en cité Beverly Hills, et Manhattan Beach, et qui est docteur Hot Brazil. 
les cultivateurs fig ça veut dire les farmers fig c'est ici qui ni l'habitude de voir vieux qualité fig à sur la place là car ni pour espérer une inspection qui plus huit à présent ce ministre des affaires agricoles pêche avec les fruits on a Ezekiel Joseph qui fait déclaration ça là c'est le ministre agricole là farmer fig qui toujours qu'à vendre bon qualité pas qu'il ne peut passer à bas moulin ou à zéro ça là mais il y a qui coupable car il peut faire une meilleure gamme et puis qualité fig il y aura vendre à sur la place là ministre Ezekiel Joseph dit aussi c'est plein ministère pour employer plus officier extension pour travailler à effort pour qui initiative ça là c'est une initiative nouveau ça là fait gros succès monia nous qui fait là BPIP là là il pose là nous en bas code de gouvernement et puis NFT nous qui va venir ensemble et puis nous qui ouais nous qui pose toutes ces extensions officiel là à dans à bas your umbrella et puis monia nous qui ouais nous qui fait là nous qui direct ou rip deployed extension officiel là là pour assister farmers parce si nous ne pouvons pas les femmes venir au Webridge là pour ça rejecter, so nous voulons venir les femmes aussi pour avoir from the field, pour pour éduquer, pour make sure qu'ils servent, parce qu'il est important, il faut faire pièces, mon ami, il faut faire pièces pour ça, vous faites l'anglais et pour jouer jouer là hein, from ces monnaies qui cas acheter figure ou cas jouer ces monnaies, ça pas bon business, so femmes ne peuvent pas dire que while nous ne pouvons pas ici pour nous ne pouvons pas ici pour et puis et puis inputs um nous avons ici pour technical advice um but aussi une responsabilité une responsabilité ça ça s'ouvre les tiers avec figla et pour servir bord avec figla on ne peut mutuer dat ce qu'à faire qui bénéfice tout et puis by extension qui bénéfice industry et puis c'est ici oui monsieur madame ça c'était la voix ministre là qui est responsable pour affaire agriculture la pêche avec les fourrier à cette ici ça c'est on avec Ezekiel Joseph Kabay Uh, développement neuf à sous à faire figure à cette ici um, nous avons plus d'informations à ce développement ça là dans l'autre nouvelle et c'est pour ça nous avons trouvé une nouvelle là monsieur madame encore merci autre pour regarder nous avons une invitation pour je puis moi encore c'est dire qu'on se fait la vie et après cette autre nouvelle à croire la présent nous avons vu pour cette autre channel merci à Pearl Primus and that brings us to the end of NTN Nightly join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Development Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am General Norville.